G'day everyone. Today we're going to be playing Cursed Castilla or Maldita Castilla EX. Um, it's a game that came with the January 2018 Humble Monthly Bundle and I played a little bit of it. It seems to be a super ghouls and ghosts inspired platforming game. Um, it's pretty difficult and it's really fun. Um, I'm using the controller here. Unfortunately it doesn't have D-pad bindings for some reason. Um, so I've got to use the joystick here. But yeah, you can see the ghouls and ghosts inspiration straight off the bat here. Even the jumping, you can see jumping, I've got very little influence when I fall and it's you know, there's a lot of momentum in the jump, there's a big arch, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, even the basic weapon looks a lot like the, the lance. Um, it seems pretty cool. It even sort of looks quite a bit like Ghouls and Ghosts, I think. You know, the character at least. The enemies flying out everywhere. You can get weapon upgrades. Um, I think I don't like the daggers. I don't like the bombs. I think the sickle's my favorite. Don't like the axes. That's a lot like the bombs. This is the sickle. Yeah, it's like that cuphead weapon. Oh, Should have cleared these guys first. Man, I'm failing this. Ugh. Is this food? No, it's coins. Yeah, the only thing I'm not... I'm enjoying this game a lot, but the only thing that's not sold me is the music. I can't exactly re remember the music in Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, so I'm not sure if this is trying to emulate that or, you know, replicate it, but... I don't know, this music, it's, it's, it's not grabbing me. It's really tinny. It's, um, it's not very catchy or memorable. It sort of just exists. I mean, I guess it's kind of, you know, spooky, like the, I sort of, I guess it fits the, the theme of the game pretty well. Um, you'll notice the side art on the side of the screen there. Uh, you can select that, you can just have black bars um, surrounding the action. But I like the side art, I think it's cool. Oh man. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I think I got up to about the fourth level or something like that. Um, and apparently all the bosses... Oh, jeez. Apparently all the bosses are based on, you know, um, Spanish or European folklore. Um, I'm not sure who this guy is. Headless Knight. I'm not sure if there's anything special about him. But... Yeah, there's some other bosses, like, uh, yeah, uh, there's some Greek god, some cloud guy. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. There's actually only the control stick and the A and the X buttons on the uh, gamepad that are being used at the moment. Yeah, there's no other buttons that you need. I'm not sure if you get any other special abilities or anything later. Oh no! I messed up. Oh my man, trouble hit. I hate these barrels. Oh, I hate those barrels. And the sword is the worst weapon. You can't spam it. You've just got to. You know, I really like the sickle because you can just keep chucking them out there. Oh. Although I guess this does have quite a bit of range. I didn't notice that before. Although I'm not going to get that coin now. And so I guess the main draw of this game, it has like a speedrunning mode. So I guess you're trying to do like a score attack or um... 
I'd be interested to see people. Interested to see people. I keep forgetting about that. Interested to see speedruns of this game because it's bloody hard. There's also a lot of video options. Um, you can see at the moment that I've sort of got like the CRT scan lines. Um, you can get rid of those scan lines, but I don't really like the look, how it looks without them. That was really close. I thought I was going to get hit there. Um, I think I actually do like the way that it looks. It's definitely got, you know, it knows what it's trying to do. It knows the style that it's going for. And I think it does it pretty well. See, these things are a breeze when you've got the sickles. Um, as far as I can tell, I don't think the weapons, I mean, sorry, the enemy placements are random. They all seem to, you know, come from the same place at the same time. That's our first major boss there. Ugh. The sickle is the ultimate weapon, for sure. It feels so good, you can just blast them out there. I like the look of the enemies, I think they're pretty cool. I like the look of the boss, the, the look and design of the bosses as well. Oh, I walked straight into that one. Yeah, I couldn't find any... I've had a look on Wikipedia about, you know, the names of the bosses, see if they were, um, you know, Spanish folklore or monsters. Couldn't see anything about this guy. I'm not sure what the story is either. I kind of skipped over that at the start. For God and Castilla. I guess I'm just a treasure hunter or something? Uh, maybe I'm just ridding the land of monsters? Whoops. Just road of the harpies. Let's do it. Ah, oh, this level's really cool. I'm on the wagon with my friends and they are... Uh, supposed to be taking care of all the monsters for me. I guess not all of them. I was trying to remember the name of the, the knight in Ghouls and Ghosts. It's like Sir Dan or something. I know he was in um, Marvel vs. Capcom as a fighter. I'm pretty sure it's Sir Dan. Something like that. Right on time. Man, I love these sickles so much. And there's the boss. Scan lines actually make it kind of hard to read a lot of the, the text. I feel like I'm sitting really close. Oh man, I just walked straight into that one. 
this. Oh, I need that. Perfect. What did I just get? Double jump boots? Hell yeah. I keep doing that. Oh man, I hate this thing. That worked. Hmm, that double jump is pretty difficult to control. You've sort of got the arch going on. Jump. Jump. It's very colourful, this game. There's a lot of bright reds on the enemies, bright blue on the fairy. I guess it, it does sort of... it does work. I mean, the colours don't really look out of place, I would say. Oh, that was very lucky. I almost died there. <gasps> that was lucky as well. Goddamn windmills hurt me. Just the straight up jump is really difficult to control. I find it a lot easier to jump when I'm moving. Man. That was bad. Oh, now I've lost my double jump. That's no good. Got my fairy back at least. I, uh, it's like my greatest option. Ooh, that was close. I must, I must I failed that one. Oh! Damn it. Keep spamming these swords, spamming all my weapons. That's so mean. He sort of spawns just as he come out. Whew, that was close. Oh man, that only gave me one heart back. I don't need more. This guy is actually a um, is actually a figure from Italian folklore, I think. Maybe mythology? What happened there? Oh, Alright. Now's a good time to do... Go to the next episode, I think. See you there.